Ever wondered how you can ask an AI to write a Shakespearean sonnet about pizza, and it spits one out instantly, here's the wild part, GPT isn't thinking. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It's a statistical parrot fooling billions with a clever math trick. Let's crack it open. First, GPT doesn't read words the way humans do. It reads little word fragments. For example, ChatGPT gets split into two tokens, while pineapple is one, and even an emoji is a single token. Why is that? Efficiency. Fewer tokens make it way cheaper and faster to train. Now the secret source. Imagine a giant math machine with layers called attention heads. Step one. Each token becomes a unique set of numbers like king might become 0.2,-1.7,3.4. Next. The model scans the whole sentence to find meaning like is bank about money or a river. Finally. GPT guesses the next token. So once upon a predicts time. It's superpowered autocomplete. Sometimes it gets silly, like answering the capital of France is pizza. But how does GPT learn? By reading the whole internet book's code, memes then playing fill in the blank with billions of sentences. Human testers even rank its answers. But here's the catch. GPT doesn't understand. It just pattern matches. That's why you'll hear a robot voice confidently reciting pure nonsense. So why does GPT mess up? It has no ground truth, can't reason, and sometimes overfits weird training data. Translation, it's confidently wrong. A lot. Like that time a lawyer cited court cases that GPT simply invented. All right, want to trick an AI? Drop your weirdest prompt in the comments and I'll mention it in an upcoming video. And don't forget to subscribe for more math-related content, including odds, stats and insights on how things work. Remember, math isn't magic, it's everywhere.